Welcome back to Zone for Geeks. My name is Casey, and in the last video, I showed you how to create a file storage server on Linux using Samba. Today, I'm going to show you how to partition and mount a new hard drive to your Linux machine. As your storage needs grow, it's much more economical to add a new hard drive, whether a physical hard drive or a virtual hard drive, instead of building or buying a machine. In this video, I'm going to add a new three terabyte hard drive to my virtual machine, and then partition and mount the drive so it's usable. Here I've SSH'd into my virtual machine, and if I do a DF-TAC-H, you can see my primary drive, but my three terabyte drive doesn't show up. However, if I use the command LSBLK, we can see my three terabyte drive showing under SDB. Now I want to go ahead and partition my new drive. Since I'm using a three terabyte drive, I have to partition the drive as a GPT. An MBR partition only supports drives less than two terabytes. To do this, I'm going to use the command sudo gdisk slash dev slash sdb. If your drive isn't under sdb, you'll need to change that. Now I'm going to hit N to create a new partition. This will take a few minutes, but when it's done, hit W to write the new partition table. Now if I do df-tac-h again, we still see that our drive isn't listed, but if I do ls-blk, we can now see we have a partition drive under sdb1. Now we want to create the file system. To do that, I'm going to use the command sudo mkfs.ext4 slash dev slash sdb1. If yours isn't sdb1, you'll need to change that. By the way, I'll have all of these commands in the description below. We're almost done, but I've cleared the screen to make it a little easier to see. Now we need to make the directory where our mount is going to live. Traditionally, mounted drives are in the slash mnt directory. So I'm going to type sudo mkdir slash mnt and then the name of the folder we want to use for our mounted directory. In my case, I'm going to call it yt underscore file store. Now we just need to mount our drive. We type sudo mount slash dev slash sdb1. Again, change it from sdb1 if you need to. Then we need to give our path we just created. So for me, it will be slash mnt slash yt underscore file store. Now, if we do df tag h, we can see our new mounted drive listed. We're not quite done yet though. We need to do one more thing. We need our new hard drive to mount every time we start our Linux machine. In order to do that, we need to get the UUID of the new drive. Type in lsblk tag f and locate your new drive. This UUID is what we need. I'm going to copy and paste it into a notepad. Now open your preferred text editor and navigate to slash Etsy slash FS tab. We need to add our drive to the bottom of the page. It's always good practice to add a comment. Now we're basically going to copy this line, but we need to make a few changes to it. Obviously we want to add our UUID for our new drive. We want to change the path to our mount, and then at the end, we're going to change the one to a two. That's it. However, I'm going to intentionally make a mistake here so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to go to my UUID and just remove the number eight. I'm going to save and then reboot my machine. Now I'm going to pull up my VM window so you can see the machine as it boots. 
First thing you will notice is that it gets hung up on the mounting process. It will stay like this for a minute and a half, so I'm going to speed through it. Notice that very top line, you are in emergency mode. While in emergency mode, you have limited functionality in your machine, but we can go and fix our mistake. We can navigate back to the file, slash Etsy, slash FS tab, and then just add our missing number eight to the UUID. Now we'll reboot again, and we should see that our machine is booting like normal. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.